Hello, I'm Meghnath Desai. I have been a professor of economics at London School of Economics, and now I'm master of my own time. I'm retired. Reading is my one great pleasure. All my life, I have been reading books in libraries, bookshops. My most favorite book, of course, being an economist, is Adam Smith, The Wealth of Nations. The most amazing thing about this book is like a lot of other classics, people know very little about either Adam Smith or about this book. They think he's some kind of a free market freak, but reading this is a real great introduction to history, politics, geography, as well as economics. And I advise you, if you ever have time, to at least dip into this book, because it is one of the great, great philosophical books of all times. I, I find fiction very hard to read, so I mainly read non-fiction, history, politics, economics, uh, something about biographies and so on. I'm right now doing a lot of reading on Indian history, and this book by Peter Clark called The Last Thousand Days of British Empire I, it fascinated me because he wrote a very good biography of Stafford Cripps, who of course came to India uh, during the uh, 1940s, and he's very well known. Now, Peter Clark has written a lovely book about how Britain's empire dissolved immediately after the war and India became independent. It's a, it's a great, great, uh, great story. I find, uh, you know, again and again, that when I want to uh, want to get a good idea of the world, sometimes you have to go back to the classics. You really have to find uh, what the earlier people said about their own period. And of course, Babur Lama is a great classic. So here was a man who had come from Central Asia, who knew nothing about India, who was actually not even very happy here uh, because he wanted the cool airs of Kabul and further up north. But he ruled India for four years and started the Mughal dynasty. And his own memoirs, Babur Nama, has been beautifully translated. And I think that is a fascinating book to read. And of course, then you, what you have, uh, oh, if you are at all interested in Indian history, is you have to come to terms with the great partition, the great tragedy of the partition. Of course, speaking about the history of India, one has to come to terms with the partition of India, the great tragedy. And I find that I need to learn a lot more about Jinnah than we know, because he has been much maligned, he's been much misrepresented. But after all, we have to know because he was present at a crucial time and changed the destiny of India and of Pakistan. So I, I find reading a book on Jinnah by a Pakistani scholar 60 years after the partition is very educational and I keep on meaning to read about it. Basically, when you read about books, when I read about things like that, you learn more about yourself as well as the world around you. That is the great thing about books. They're really about yourself, not just about the world around you. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time and Sudoku NDTV's new iPad app download now